Number 10, Alex Underhill. On June the 20th of 2017, Alex Underhill from Hampshire, England, died on a mountain in the United Arab Emirates. 25-year-old Underhill was hiking down Jebel Jace, accompanied by his best friend, George Crew. They'd reached a certain height, but decided to go back because they didn't have much water left to deal with the intense heat. Temperatures on the day reportedly peaked at 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Both men were feeling faint and exhausted. Crew was walking ahead of Underhill, searching for shaded spots where they could rest and cool down. Crew then realized that some time had passed since he hadn't heard from his companion, and as he turned around, he couldn't see him. He started searching for Underhill and found him lying unconscious. The man had slipped or possibly fainted from the heat and hit his head on a rock. Crew didn't have a signal on his cell phone, but he rushed to get help and eventually managed to call a helicopter. He led responders back to Underhill, but by the time they got to him, he'd already succumbed to his severe head injuries. Today's featured fan shout out is Instagram follower Punk to Pasture. To appear in our next video, send us your pick, rocking the latest merch from theywillkillyou.com and send it in to us on Instagram today. Number 9. Greg Boswell In 2015, one of Scotland's most promising mountain climbers was brutally attacked by a grizzly bear in Canada. 24-year-old Greg Boswell and his climbing partner Nick Bullock were making their way through a dense forest on Mount Wilson in the Canadian Rockies. Bullock heard Boswell scream bear before turning around and seeing him chased through the snow by a massive grizzly. It pounced on Boswell and easily bit through his hiking boot. It then sunk its teeth into the mountaineer's shin while placing his paw on his other leg. The bear lifted him off the ground in a panic. Boswell started prying the grizzly's mouth open with his bare hands. Bullock rushed to his aid and together they were able to drive the bear away. Afterwards, they started running until they got lost in the forest. The men wandered through it in the dark, trying to find their equipment and navigate down the mountain. Boswell kept bleeding from five deep puncture wounds on his leg. The men feared that the blood would attract wolves or that the grizzly would return. Fortunately, after trekking through freezing temperatures for several hours, they made it back down and Bullock drove his friend to a hospital at the Banff Ski Resort. Boswell had surgery to mend the bite marks on his leg but was set to make a full recovery. Number 8. Chelsea Rebecca Alvarez On New Year's Day 2017, a young woman suffered a fatal fall while hiking in South Tyrol near the Italian-Austrian border. 24-year-old Chelsea Rebecca Alvarez, originally from Canada, had recently moved to Italy with her fiancé, Colin Behenna, a former team captain for the OHL Barrio Colts. Behenna was starting a career in the European Hockey League with the Sturzing Broncos. Alvarez was following a mountain pass at an estimated altitude of 7,200 feet. According to local reports, she lost her balance and plummeted nearly 500 feet to the valley below. To put her drop into perspective, it's almost like falling from the top of the Washington Monument. The woman landed on some rocks and the impact killed her instantly. Many in the hockey community that Alvarez and Behena belong to expressed their condolences and regrets regarding her passing. Number 7. Benjamin Kessel In September of 2020, a rock climber died at Franconia Notch State Park in New Hampshire after his rope was severed by a fall in Boulder. Massachusetts man Benjamin Kessel was part of a group of climbers taken on Cannon Cliff. The 34-year-old was anchored in when a rock reportedly the size of a refrigerator became dislodged above his route. It tumbled down and cut his rope, knocking Kessel about 150 feet down the cliff. The injuries that he sustained in the fall proved fatal. His climbing partner, who wasn't hurt, called 911. Roughly 90 minutes after the fall, other climbers located Kessel's body by rappelling down the cliff. Drop in temperatures and wane in daylight forced rescuers to postpone the retrieval effort until the following day. According to the authorities, a total of 30 people took part in the rescue and recovery mission. Number 6. Seven climbers die in Himalayan avalanche. In May of 2019, British mountaineer Martin Moran was guiding an expedition to the summit of Nanda Devi East in the Himalayas. 
The team's objective stood at 25,200 feet. They made base camp on May the 18th and, three days later, established a higher camp. Moran's party of 12 then split into two groups. One group would continue to anchor ropes on the route to Nanda Devi East, while Moran and seven others would attempt a first ascent of an unnamed peak, which stood at 21,250 feet. According to the subsequent communication with Moran's group, they'd established camp and they were going to push for the summit the following morning. No further contact with the group had been made since May the 25th, a day before heavy snow fell in the region. The remaining party of four failed to find the others but noted evidence of a large avalanche on their route. On May the 31st, the alarm was raged and search efforts were mounted. In early June, a military helicopter spotted equipment and several of the bodies buried in the snow at about 20,000 feet. Strong winds prevented attempts to airlift the bodies and expert climbers were sent to retrieve them on foot. The remains of seven members were recovered but Moran was still missing and the search for him had to be called off due to monsoon conditions. Footage from a GoPro camera found near one of the bodies showed what's believed to have been the group's final moments. They were all robed together as they crossed the delicate snow ridge. The unstable snow is believed to have collapsed beneath them, triggering an avalanche that claimed their lives. Number 5. Patrick Boothroyd In 2018, a young mountaineer died while climbing Ben Nevis, the UK's tallest mountain. 21-year-old Patrick Boothroyd and his climbing partner, who was also in his 20s, were coming to the end of an ice climbing route near the summit. They then reached a snow ledge, which collapsed under their weight. The snow didn't bury the climbers, but instead swept them more than 1,600 feet down the mountain. Boothroyd sustained severe head trauma, while his companion suffered a few cracked ribs, injuries that weren't deemed life-threatening. Boothroyd's climbing partner managed to contact rescuers via cell phone. Boothroyd was still conscious when he was airlifted from the mountain. He passed away in the helicopter from cardiac arrest, in spite of attempts made by rescuers to revive him. Number 4. Annabelle Nielsen In 2020, Utah woman Annabelle Nielsen died during a hike in Switzerland, where she was working as a missionary. 20-year-old Nielsen had arrived in the country in the summer of 2019 to serve at the Alpine German-speaking mission affiliated with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. According to a statement released by the church, Nielsen was hiking with five other missionaries when she slipped and fell down a steep incline. No further details were released regarding the location or circumstances regarding Nielsen's fall, but the injuries she sustained were fatal. To honor Nielsen's example of kindness and service, a GoFundMe campaign was initiated with the goal of using the money to help those in need. Number 3. Richard Tiplady On March the 5th of 2020, the life of a Scottish mountaineer who was climbing a peak in the English Lake District was saved by an avalanche. 53-year-old Richard Tiplady was reassessing his route to the summit of the 2,900-foot pillar. Tiplady started to slip and tried to prevent a fall by plunging his axe in the ice. He lost his grip on the tool and dropped nearly 600 feet. Snow from an earlier avalanche not only cushioned his fall, but also stopped Tip Lady about 20 feet from going off the edge of another precipice. The mountaineer had sustained devastating injuries in the fall. Fortunately, he managed to call for help on his cell phone and a rescue helicopter reached his location within the hour. Tip Lady had fractured his neck, elbow, and his ankle. He was left with facial laceration so brutal that his rescuers claimed he looked like he'd been savaged by a mountain lion. Tip Lady was taken to Royal Victoria Infirmary in Newcastle, where he underwent a two-hour surgery. Today's topic was requested by Skyler Studios. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Simone Latella In the spring of 2017, Italian mountaineer Simone Latella was attempting to climb Nepal's Mount Dulagiri, which at 26,795 feet is the world's seventh highest mountain. 37-year-old Latera had made camp on the rugged massif at around 22,600 feet. To put that into perspective, the spot where the mountaineer had installed his tent was higher up than the peak of Mount Kilimanjaro. 
It's believed that La Terra was inside the tent when it was swept down the mountain by a powerful gust of wind. In the aftermath, members of his team tried to find him on foot while a helicopter struggled against the windy conditions to expand the search. La Terra's body was found about 2,600 feet below where he'd been camped. His remains were retrieved and transported to Kathmandu. Number 1. Robert Boardman On October the 17th of 2010, Robert Boardman was at Olympic National Park in Washington. The 63-year-old was hiking alongside his wife and friends. They'd reached the top of Clahane Ridge when they encountered an aggressive mountain goat. The non-native animal, which stands about 3 feet and can weigh up to 300 pounds, was introduced to the Olympic Mountains in the 1920s. Boardman told the others to go down the trail as he tried to shoo away the goat. A few moments later, his companions heard a loud scream. When they returned to investigate, they found that Boardman had been gored in the thigh by the mountain goat. He was airlifted to the Olympic Medical Center by a Coast Guard helicopter and was later pronounced dead. The mountain goat was subsequently shot dead by park employees. According to a park spokesperson, it was known to be aggressive, but none of the previously reported incidents had constituted a solid reason for the goat to be killed. Thanks for watching. Would you rather climb the tallest mountain in your country or state without any equipment or try to survive in the Amazon rainforest for a week without a guide? Let us know in the comments section below.